Russian warships enter Havana Harbor under Washington's watchful eye. This post received a score of 6,400, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. One cruiser and one submarine. The other two ships are support ships, one of which is a tugboat. What a joke. Tugboat is there for encouragement, like when old PPL need to go on a walk they have the nurses walking with them. Russian warship. Back in my day we brought America to its knees with the Cuban Missile Crisis. Tugboat. OK Boomer. The Boomer would be the sub. No booming, thank you Vasily. Just one ping only, please. I wanted to see Montana, sounds of last breath. I would like to have seen Montana. My favorite movie, must have seen it 20 times. Some things in here don't react well to bullets. Bulletsha. Oh, good for Russia. They had ships make it across an ocean, without catching fire or sinking. They have finally caught up to Columbus and the Spanish Empire. I almost want to cheer them on. You made it across an ocean without sinking. Yay, good luck on your return home, and remember the Kuznetsov. Lol, remember the Moskva. I have to imagine that Budinov is watching this and just rubbing his hands together, thinking of the possibilities. Don't forget the Admiral Levchenko, anti-sub ship, which may or may not still be on fire in the Barents Sea. Telling that Russian warships always travel with a tug. It would be a shame if something happened to the tug. It's okay, they have another tug on standby. Sue, whack a tug? Tugception. It's tugs. All the way down. Is this where we find out Russia has a fully functioning navy? But it's all tugs and its only claim to a superpower status is that it can menacingly pull things around, very large things. The whole war seems like important rage, maybe Putin could use more tugs. Those sailors must be happy to have a vacation away from Ukraine. Luckiest Russian sailors lol. I'm sorry but, double checks username, what the foo. It's a farmer, look at the age of the account and the points that it has. That's someone up to no good. That's 10k karma a day. Not even the most prolific karma posters on the entertainment subs get that much. But this is the version of Reddit we've been dealing with since the API changes last year. Influx of bots. Karma whores with programs to post everything for them. The mod. Exodus, etc. This site has just plummeted so much since last summer. It really feels like a solid half of the users on the site weren't here two years ago. I'm all for new users, but they've changed the site culture to be less about long-form discussion and more about typical social media shite. It used to be decent everywhere, then it was decent as long as you stayed off the default subs, now it's rarely decent anywhere. I'm honestly sad, this is the only forum-style social media site, and that's the only type of social media I enjoy. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.